Uh, Tina, do we worry about the tongue with uh, with chewing uh, or tongue chewing with the nerve blocks? That's a common question, and it's a good question. And the answer to that is no. In short, and I'll tell you why. The only way that a patient can chew its tongue is when that patient is recovering and not totally cognizant. So it doesn't matter if they have a nerve block or not, if that patient's in lateral recumbency and it's not fully cognizant yet, it's not fully awake and able to sit in sternal recumbency, that tongue will gravitate between the maxillary fourth premolar and the mandibular molar. And so if they have a, if they can partially feel that, they will chew regardless of whether they have a nerve block or not, and they can definitely chew a hole in that tongue. I've seen pictures of that in lecture. So that can happen, but it can't happen if the patient is recovered normally or properly would be a better, better term. So when we recover our patients, we want them in sternal recumbency, sustainable st sternal recumbency. That's a bit hard to say. Sustainable ser uh, sternal recumbency where they're not going to lie back down and go, go lateral again and be able to chew the tongue. So as long as that happens, as long as they're sternal, that tongue cannot gravitate to either side and get between those two carnassial teeth and allow for chewing. The tongue will, by default, go rostral to that, either outside the canine or around the premolars rostral to that, and there's not any shearing force to cause damage to the tongue in that respect. So good question. Uh, again, long answer to a short question.